Welcome to our next section, testing. In this section, we will learn how to use the best technologies for testing, such as Codeception, PHP Unit, the TOEM, and BHAT. You'll be introduced to how to write simple tests and how to avoid regression errors in your application. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with testing the application with Codeception. In this video, we will look at using Codeception for testing an application. By default, the basic and advanced E2 application skeletons use Codeception as a testing framework. Codeception supports writing of unit, functional, and acceptance tests out of the box. For unit tests, it uses the PHP unit test framework, which will be covered in the next video. Create a new Yi2 app basic application using the Composer Package Manager, as described in the official guide at this link. Note, if you use version 2.0.9 or earlier of the basic application, just upgrade manually test directory and also add config test.php, config test underscore db.php and web index dash test.php files. Besides, you must copy require and require dash dev sections of composer.json file and run composer update. Open the terminal and create the migration using this command. Say yes and your migration has been created. Now open app slash migrations and open the just created migration. Add and append these lines of code in it and save it. Next apply the migration using this command. Say yes and you can see that the migration has been successfully applied. Open app slash models directory and create the post model. Open these lines of code in it. Also go to app slash controllers. Inside controllers create admin folder and within it post controller.php and add these lines of code in it. Also, add the status drop down list for the status field and name for the submit button in views slash admin slash post slash underscore form dot php and add these lines of code in it. Now check that the controller works. Go to the browser and browse for admin slash posts and you should get this as the output. Create any demo posts. Enter the values in the given fields and click on create post. Enter values of title, text and status. And click on create. You can see that the first post has been created successfully. Now let's look at preparing for the tests. Create ye2 underscore basic underscore tests or other test database and update it by applying migrations. Here we go, the migration has been applied successfully. The command needs to be run in the test directory. You can specify your test database options in configuration file config test underscore db.php. Codeception uses auto-generated actor classes for own test suites. Build them with this command. As you can see here, it has been built successfully. Next, we will look at running unit and functional tests. We can run any types of the application's tests right now. Run all the available tests using this command. Then run the functional tests. Run the unit tests with this command. As a result, you can view testing report 
like these seen on the screen. Next, let us try to get the coverage reports. You can get the code coverage reports for your code. By default, code coverage is disabled in the test codeception.yml configuration file. So open this file and uncomment the necessary rows to be able to collect code coverage like this. and save it. You must install the x-debug PHP extension from xdebug.org. For example, on Ubuntu or Debian, you can type this command in your terminal. On Windows, you must open the php.ini file and add the custom code with the path to your PHP installation directory. Alternatively, if you use the non-threaded safe edition, type this. Finally, you can run tests and collect the coverage report with these commands. Now collect coverage only for unit tests. Next collect coverage for unit and functional tests both. You can see the text code coverage output in the terminal. Also, you can see HTML report under the tests, codeception, output, coverage directory, and open the index.html file to see the report. You can click on any class and analyze which lines of code have not been executed during the testing process. Moving ahead, we will look at running acceptance tests. In acceptance tests, you can use PHP browser for requesting server via curl. It helps check your site controllers, and to parse HTTP and HTML response codes. But if you want to test your CSS or JavaScript behavior, you must use Real Browser. Selenium Server is an interactive tool which integrates into Firefox and other browsers and allows to open site pages and emulate human actions. For working with Real Browser, we must install Selenium Server. It requires full Codeception package instead of basic. Install Mozilla Firefox browser from this link. Install Java runtime environments from this link. Download Selenium standalone server from this link. Download Gecko driver from here. Launch server with the driver in new terminal window. Copy tests. Acceptance.suite.yml.example to tests. Acceptance.suite.yml file and configure it with these lines of code. Open new terminal frame and start web server. Run acceptance test with this command. And you should see how Selenium starts the browser and check all site pages. Now we will create database fixtures. Before running own tests, we must clear the own test database and load specific test data into it. The Yi2 Codeception extension provides the active fixture base class for creating test data sets for own models. Create the fixture class for the post model. Add a demonstration data set in test slash underscore data slash post dot php file and add these lines of code in it. Activate fixtures support for unit and acceptance tests. Just add this fixtures part into the unit.suite.yml file.
regenerate test classes for applying these changes by running this command. Next, we will write unit or integration tests. Unit and integration tests check the source of code of our project. Unit tests check only the current class or their method in isolation from other classes and resources, such as databases, files, and many more. Integration tests check the working of your classes in integration with other classes and resources. Active record models in Yi2 always use databases for loading table schema, as we must create a real test database and our tests will be integrational. Write tests for checking model validation, saving, and changing its status. Run the tests using this command. Now see the results here. That is all. If you deliberately or casually break any model's method, you will see a broken test. Now we will write a functional test. Functional test checks that your application works correctly. This suite prepares $get $post and others request variables and call the application double colon handle request method. It helps to test your controllers and their responses without running a real server. Now we can write tests for our admin CRUD. Generate a new test class. Fix the namespace in the generated file in admin slash functional slash post stand. Write own tests using these lines of code. Run tests with this command. Now see the results. All tests passed. In other case, you can see snapshots of tested pages in tests underscore output directory for failed tests. Now we'll look at writing acceptance test. Acceptance tester hit the real site from test server instead of calling application double colon handle request method. High level acceptance tests look like middle level functional tests. But in case of Selenium, it allows to check JavaScript behavior in real browser. You must get this class in tests, acceptance directory. Do not forget to call wait method for testing for page to be opened or reloaded. Run the PHP test server in a new terminal frame. Run the acceptance tests with this command. And see the results. Selenium will start Firefox web browser and execute our testing commands. Let us create API test suite. Besides unit, functional and acceptance suites, Codeception allows to create specific test suites. For example, we can create it for API testing with support of XML and JSON parsing. Create the REST API controller controllers. API postcontroller.php for post model. Add these REST routes for the URL manager component in config web.php file and some config but with enabled show script name option in config test.php add these lines of code in the web dot ht access file open the browser and check that the api post controller works Create the API test suite tests, api.suite.yml. Configuration file with the rest module. Now rebuild testers. Create tests, API directory and generate new test class. Write tests for your rest dash API using these lines of code. Run application server using this command. Run API tests. Now see the result. All tests passed and our API works correctly. Codeception is high level testing framework based on the PHP unit package for providing infrastructure for writing unit, integration, functional 
and acceptance tests, we can use built-in YE2 module of Codeception, which allows us to load fitters, work with models and other things from YE framework. For further information, refer to the tests readme.md file of your basic or advanced application. In this video, we have successfully tested our API using Codeception and verified that our API works correctly.